I just got to say, this this whole the whole vibe, as they say, mm -hmm. of the surrounding their run, getting all the way here to the Final Four, this, this is amazing. It is, and I can tell that you are equally excited as well, man. I, I, you, can, can you tell on yeah, my face? Yeah, I love it. <laughs> all right. Atlantic's biggest strengths is rebounding. FAU out-rebounded Kansas State. That was their last opponent, 44-22. to If the Aztecs can hold the Owls off the glass, there might be some more celebrating on Saturday. But I, I'm, we, can, we, can we talk about this game for a minute? Because... Talk about a lot of minutes. <laughs> yeah. I'm sitting there watching, and I'm trying to do my work. I'm trying to do what we're doing right now, put the show together. And I, I just... I, mean, I, I couldn't take my eyes off the TV. Hard to concentrate on anything else, but... Hello to my San Diego family. This is the Fox 5 Sports Final. I'm Frank Jefferson. The Aztecs advance, surviving an emotional win against Creighton to earn a spot in the Final Four. Getting redemption after losing to the Blue Jays last year in the first round, here's point guard Darian Trammell on what this victory means to him. It's just a blessing to be here and to be able to have the opportunity to knock down the street dogs from my brothers so we can celebrate. That celebration was earned. This play by Gucka Rope encapsulating everything, saving the loose ball and diving into the scorer's table. His effort wasn't in vain. Darian Trammell knocking down the jumper. Speaking of Trammell, seconds left in the game, getting fouled. Controversial call with the chance to win it on the line. Missing the first, but hitting the second. Aztecs win 57-56, heading to Houston this Saturday to play Florida Atlantic in the Final Four. The Aztecs' next opponent, like we just said, is Florida Atlantic. One of the biggest strengths is rebounding, and FAU out-rebounded their last opponent, Kansas State, 44-22. If the Aztecs can hold the Owls off the glass, there might be some more celebrating Saturday. But let's enjoy tonight and hear from the team and what this win means to them. Julian Delgadio has more from Louisville. And then there was one. The Padres only have a game left in spring training, iron out the kinks by letting injured players heal and other guys on the roster play tune-up games in the minor leagues, all before opening day on Thursday. Padres taking on the Mariners, bottom of the third. Trent Grisham must have had Wheaties for breakfast. Knocking this one over the wall, one of his two home runs on the day, tying the game up at one. Bottom of the six, two on. Grish again, not a home run, but it gets the job done. Bringing a runner home. Preston Tucker tries to do the same, but like the song says, another one bites the dust. Getting thrown out, game tied at four. Mariners end up tying the game at five after this ball to left center, and it stayed that way. Padres tie the Mariners five to five and get a chance to get a win against them tomorrow at 11 a.m. It feels really good, actually, because I know I'm like up there with all the upperclassmen. Ali Barclay's doing something at Steel Canyon High School that most upperclassmen can't do. Her spring double duty for the Cougars. Welcome back, everybody. Ali Barclay runs around the track at Steel Canyon as effortlessly as she runs around the bases on the softball diamond. The freshman balances two varsity sports at the same time while maintaining an impressive GPA. Here's a story of this very busy and motivated neighborhood all-star. This is San Diego's Neighborhood All-Stars, sponsored by your San Diego County Toyota dealers. Ever since she was three years old, Eileen Barclay loved running, chasing after her older sisters, Jada and Kayla. It pushed me because I, I wanted to be better than them, but like being able to run against people that were better than me, it like prepared me for when I was running against like people my own age. She's had so much practice running, the 14-year-old now excels at two sports at Steel Canyon High School. Varsity track. <laughs> and varsity softball. It feels really good actually because I know I'm like up there with all the upperclassmen and I'm just starting back after taking a couple years off. She's referring to an accident in 2021 where she collided head on with a teammate in the outfield, damaging her liver and kidney, spending three days in the ICU. So I was like out for like four months. That's when I started my break from track. Now after two years of not running, she's lacing up her shoes again. As just a high school freshman, she's already ranked as one of the top sprinters in San Diego County in the 100 and 200 meter dash. Let's go, Ali! When she's not sprinting on the track, she's sprinting on the softball field. So I use like my speed to get bunched down, steal some bases, and then 
It's I can cover a lot of ground in the outfield. The center fielder also uses her quick reflexes to get on base, something she says shocks her opponents. They underestimate you because, well, yeah, obviously I'm smaller than a lot of them, but then they like after that they like all know. Despite her skills in both track and softball, the rising star says she doesn't have a favorite, and depending on the day, she has to pick which sport to play. Like today, like I'm choose, I had to choose between track and softball, but. It's really just like whichever team needs me the most. On top of her success in sports, the freshman says school comes first, maintaining a 4.6 GPA and wants to become a doctor. I prioritize my education, but it's fun though. It's like a challenge. At Still Canyon High School, Frank Jefferson, Fox 5 Sports. We had a viewer write in to tell us about Eileen, and you can do the same for someone in your neighborhood. Visit our website, fox5sandiego.com, and click on sports, and then nominate a neighborhood all-star. You could also nominate through our Fox 5 app. Can't wait to see where that girl's going to go. Wow. I mean, it's kind, of, it's, it's kind of hard, you know what I mean? Like, you were a freshman, two varsity, like, yeah. what to aspire to? She can do it, though. That's she can amazing. do it. I'm excited.